Go see Purge. You told me this one day, you told me to join Seepers. Well, I'm like, what clubs do you have? And you're like, Seepers? And I'm like, okay, if I want to build an underwater robot, I could just build it. Well, I knew that you were going to be in it, so I knew it was, was going to be fun. And I really wanted to build like an underwater robot, so I thought it'd be cool that we'd be able to build it. So I used to be in Miss Liz's room, and she started talking about it. And I really loved robotics and RC cars, so I wanted to join it. Um, I learned it from the after school program. They just started it. <clears throat> what made me interested was I didn't know anything else to join, so I thought, why not make an, a robot that goes underwater? I saw it when we were looking over groups to join, and I joined it because of the competitions. Uh, I chose Sea Perch because I thought it would be fun to make a robot. Building a robot, putting the pipes together. Probably building the robot with all my awesome friends. Had some mess ups, but that was actually fine. Okay. But then, yeah. Uh, soldering. Building the robot. Building the robot? Like what part did you like? The whole part, like building the whole like, robot. That was just, it was just fun. Um, like building like the robot, mm, like setting like the sections, like the right and the left section, then connecting them together. Hmm, maybe testing the robot. Guys, that. Are you ready to go ahead and try, try it out? I know, I know my team is gonna kick butt, and I'm ready to see that. And I can't wait to be on the news and make my mom proud. Testing it in water. I'll say um driving a robot or going like um to the university. Okay. Like seeing like new places. Well, I was scared to do the drilling, but instead I did try it because Mr. Lewis. He helped me out, so that was the hardest part. The drilling, I feel like the, ch the drilling was a little challenging for me uh, because like, you had to like keep it in one spot and like when, the, when, like when you're drilling, your hands are shaky and stuff, so it's hard to like keep it in one place. Working with my team. I'd say drilling. Mm -hmm. I'll say drilling. Drilling? Yeah, because I had to move to the other way. Instead of just doing the other way, I had to move left because I had to use my right arm. Oh, okay. Cause, oh, because you didn't really know if it, you were like left-handed or right-handed, right? Yeah, I was right-handed. Yeah, we win for everybody to lose and we win. Yeah, see, I like this I'm guy's really spirit. Excited. Yeah, I like this guy. This guy, he's yeah, cool. Yeah, see their faces. Now, how did you feel about the results of the competition? I didn't really care because I was just there to have fun. And I feel like we would have got third if that team wasn't there. But I still had fun. We didn't win, but at least we had fun, and it's really that's really all that matters. I think they were actually pretty good because okay. we at least tried. Maybe next time get these little things that can stable the floaties because our floaties they kept going up to where the robot would tilt up and not go down. You just need to get the drills more in place. Okay. Because some drilling parts they were like different places well i guess since we already know what to do we could easily like make the robots okay and the soldering could probably go way better and like and i guess since we know what's gonna happen next time we'll probably know what to do uh, find a way to keep the floaties in place we could choose another different robot okay so i would go for the same robot but adjust the floaties so they wouldn't move 
Some of us, we didn't really listen. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't listen that much either. I meant to, so. And then the soldering machine we used, it kept like going out, so we ha keep having to buy more. I think we got like three. The only thing that we used, mm -hmm. it wasn't working right. We're missing the materials. We're trying to find them, but he was um, a, some, the other teams mm -hmm. extra. One of the pieces went missing. The waxing was wrong and some the soldering machine was acting up a little. So okay. some of the things weren't actually good. There was a problem at the competition. The door for the obstacle course, it wasn't really like opening right. Which they did let us get a second chance, which was good. Well, mostly you could meet new people, learn more things about electronics. Maybe if you find something broken out in the wild, you'll be able to fix it. But also you'll be able to meet the great teachers, Mr. Lewis and the assistant. Ms. Melania, right? Yeah. It's an amazing experience and that they should like join. I would say it was, it's so fun that they should join um, and they're gonna have a lot of fun. They're gonna meet a bunch of new people and that's all. Uh, I thought it was fun. Well, I think I'm gonna join again because I think it's gonna be way easier now that we know what we need to do. So what you think? What you think so far? Speed boat, bro. It's a speed boat? Speed Dude, boat, look at bro. that. You going under the lane and over it? It was fun. And what was like your favorite part about all the of Sea Perch? Working together with my friends. I, w I had fun while making the robot. Fun. It was fun? Yeah. Ex uh, why? Why was it fun? Um cuz we got to go to places that we didn't know before and some and we got to visit new people. How to see new people? Yeah. yeah, so that would I would like to join next um, next year. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good experience, and I, if there is another sea perch next year, then I'm most likely going to join it. All right, you guys are going to get up All right, so, can Damien Ocampo come at your resume? Okay, okay. Can I get your answer? Okay, give us the one in your Thank you, sir. Christian Padilla. Yeah. Thank you so much.